Hello? Hello? I, I have returned. I'm checking for one minute. <laughs> I have returned for a bit. I'm just seeing if everything is in order before I start. To to do. There's a cute dog, <laughs> a cute belt that I couldn't resist that's uh, talking about the Final Fantasy um, it is 16, right? <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest um, many times I'm thinking like, man, I should play that game um, the the, the 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 next of Final Fantasies because yes, uh, but at the same time I'm a bit worried if I'm like um, because I heard it's like it's poor adult and it, it it's fine it's Final Fantasy so I'm still not sure it's like do I do it on my own or not because lately. Uh, it's like a reason to touch Final F <laughs> PlayStation in particular. Um, I I play more f Switch on my own than PlayStation. Yeah, that. So yeah, uh, I'm going to put uh, back to the game. Hello, <laughs> hello, my little adventures. Hello, hello. Uh, I don't know why the, the the sound goes away because I'm like. Suddenly, I'm clicking one of the channels, and the, then the other channel shuts down the sounds and everything, which makes no sense to me, because it's um, ever since I, I made this mod. Because I'm gonna be honest, guys, the reason I made like this is because, for a reason or another, the OBS was not recording my voice, and uh, I had to do like this uh, in order to work. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's something but no matter we are here once again we want to uh, for now I'm going to enter here and to the event get the the beautiful mount and then we'll going to get um going back to the story that's what it is because I, I want to so uh, Guy told me to be prepared for tears and despair, so that's why I put it that on the title. Uh, f forgive me my boldness, but are you, uh, you are Habinji Sue, are you not? No. <laughs> my apologies, even in a spitting image, I suppose it was nice to presume you are indeed the living legend herself. I shall have it keep searching. <laughs> I, I couldn't resist. Um, it's like um, in what was it? Um, I will never forget. In the new Pokemon Scarlet, I was very mean to to my my first friend, my first very friend in Pokemon. I couldn't resist. My partner taught me a lot about being a troll. <laughs> I never was, but now uh, the troll has gone into me. <laughs> then, my search. Then, my search is at the end. I applaud by a gentleman, thanked, tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes and in Trinity, your aid with some matter he dis uh, deign di not to share with me. Oh, pray remain here, I shall fetch him at once. Ah. What search? Um, yeah, I have this getup. I have a lot of getups. I don't know um, which one I will go with Shadowbringers. I thought this one would look look nicely. Uh, yeah. Um, this is I employed the young adventurer to facilitate this point of view audience. 
As for the why, I have request that you, you alone, can fulfill. Pray listen well. My tale begins with the most unsettling dream. Hmm. Do tell. It did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering. As I drank deep of its beauty, I spied two stars sailing across the equaling expanse. One the purest white and the other the polished polished carpet. Two, their courses set such that they might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. Trajectory. It that that. His line. <laughs> His road. High above, burning my skin. It did its path to intersect with that of the one star. Their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was eavesdropped by the spectacular. Oh, I get it. But what does it mean? I love the tale, but I fail to see what it has to do with me. <laughs> yeah, I would say that. I do not wish to make any claims with certainty, and yet... Whatever great meaning this vision may hold, I am convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light, in other words, you. And should these prontons indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter this colored star, whoever they might be. It's a coincidence that I talked about Pokena Pokemon Scarlet, and now they're talking about the Scarlet Star. Hmm. I therefore humbly have requested you accompany me to the Burning Land for my dream, that we might witness the vision dominant. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. Yeah, of course. Sure. The question with the territory of Osria might have been considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise. Uh, oh, uh... is tell me the scene of my dream or course of bull a giant flickering outcrop crit may have oh of course so um this one <laughs> i would have a best of skin akin to, to those which compromise the burning wall i the sights well resemble the sweeping scene from the dream the first mystery is solved uh, by you. <laughs> we shall sequester talent and the infamous burning wall at once. That was my first guess. <laughs> um. Okay, to the burning wall. Where is that? I can fly there. Oh, that's great. Oh, sorry, sweetie, I scared you. I scared my kitty with that whistling. She's like, what was that? I'm sorry, sweetie, it means you. It's okay, sweetie, everything is okay. Everything is okay. I was just giving a little bit of a little. So, I've been away two weeks. Due to my, um, somehow I got a burnout and I had to, well, take a break, uh, take a breather, play some games, relax, not thinking about life, <laughs> not thinking about my, this stuff, because I, I am looking forward to next time, uh, I'm thinking maybe, uh, I should, I'm going to start probably streaming 
the quiet rooms, uh, probably. I'm not sure because it's like, since I have to, uh, the, the burnout is still here. It's not completely recovered somehow, even though I'm like, I wanted to continue. I wanted to play um, because I cannot be burned out by a little single thing, you know? It's like, I have to do more. Uh, the burn wall, uh, apt name indeed. This said that these crystallized specters in, uh, were formed when falling shards of Dalmont pierced the land a theoretical current. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. But that is neither here nor there. Let us have take a look, shall we? Spyglasses at the ready. Okay, spyglasses at the ready. We're ready to go. Some... Mm. Okay, I find something out of ordinary. Alrighty. I was going to say it in YouTube, but then I was like, oh, since I'm going to start today, it would be weird, like, putting a notification about it. Maybe. Uh, maybe I'll put it anyway, so I can explain that I have returned, but... I'm hoping that it's like I'm going to continue the quiet room since I finished the other one. And I'm hoping. I don't see anything out of the room. No, no, that doesn't seem. Is that. It doesn't seem like an unusual discovery, right? What am I looking for? But again, I've uh, uh, I've been very tired, and it's like I I'm hoping that. Okay, let's try to see. If, okay. But yeah, do because of this. I'm hoping that maybe I will start uh, doing the quiet rooms, or you guys want me to make a design, uh, because I I wanted to make a d the design about that. That summon in uh, that primal type, um, and I'm hoping like. All right, he seems to be waking up. Hey, buddy. Where am I? What? What's going on? Should I speak a silly voices like what's going on? No, and I can't do that. It's 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 cruel. It's a cruel joke, but I can't help it. <laughs> It's just fun anyway. It's like a dreamland. It's you to me. A Batman. <laughs> I understand how absurd that might be my sound. We ourselves, we're unsure what would await us here. As who we are, I'm content to be known as the Ministro. This Tom Yard hero is Harbin Jesu. Might we have the pleasure of your name? Life. I. The last thing I remember was the ruins. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, buddy? My head. Where? How did I come to be in this place? As it would seem, you were not senseless. Confusion is to be expected. Safety sake, I suggest we make full town and have a posterity physician to look you over. I shall see you, our patient receives a proper uh, treatment. Would you mind waiting for the uh, for us at Scholar's Walk? Yeah, certainly. I 
see that there's a lot of adventures also waiting for that mount. They cannot wait. Neither can I. <laughs> Uh, I'm hoping tomorrow, it's like it's not gonna be a lot of time since I am also trying to make stuff in here in the house as well, but I'm hoping at least one hour or something I'll be here streaming uh, at some of my works, either animation or a design that I've been wanting to do for a while of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, so yeah. Um, our finally is being care as we speak, but I am told he should be released soon. Hopefully does not. That bite of food in the little bed rest couldn't kill. See? I thought the tiara would look better in this outfit than the ones they offered. I prefer the winged one with the white clothes. It, it was kind of you to wait. Uh, it was kind of you to wait. Uh, thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. I'm Batman. <coughs> Sorry, I just tried to get that voice. I'm Batman. But Fazikir has also noticed no signs of injury or illness. And yet my memories remain hazy. How did I end up here? Whatever I was doing was important. I'm sure of it. Man, this music reminds me of, like, cowboy music. Like, those western ones. It's like, oh, yeah, I was... I must have returned as soon as possible. I see. Well, everybody who, who was in the previous war, of course they wanted to return as soon as possible and be ready for the tears and stuff in their world. <laughs> I cannot leave him in this state. We must help him to restore his memories and find his way home. What of this city, Clive? Do you have any parts of Udon struck you as familiar? Uh, I don't think so. I, I did play a bit. Nothing. Not, hmm, not all done then. But still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of well known Lockwood will hasten your recovery. The burning wall, the place where we found you, suited midway in Pitwick's Udon and Gridane. Perhaps a trip of tough swamp is in order? Gridin, Gridania, you say? That rings no bells. I have no better suggestions. Uh, and you will take me there? Of course! You bet, buddy! Meanwhile, I shall make rounds of the neighborhood's set settlements and ask if, uh, if any have heard of you. Let us read of you in Britannia and you. Yep. See you soon. Well, I'm going to charge also my phone. Might as well. And my camera is not gonna work for now because it's like my phone charger is behind my laptop, so there we go. Um, hey Clive, uh, buddy. The entire situation has knocked me out of balance. Yeah. I'm just checking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, knocked me out of balance, I'm afraid. Avenger, what is it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. Oh yeah, shed the bringers. Uh, yeah, that's my business for now. Uh, we can set up whenever you're ready. No, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to help you, buddy. Uh, there's no problem whatsoever. Let's go to Gridinia. Today is it. today is your day, buddy. Are we ready? Then let us head out. This Gridinia. Uh, the ministry mentioned. Is it far? We need mounts? Well, we have plenty of mounts, but we can go by plane. By the airship? You have those? Yeah, we have a transportation. Not that I mean I do to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. 
That's the fastest way. We don't need any rides or a car. <coughs> Tickets, please. Oh, wait. Arbiter, I may ask a foolish question. Those these airships of yours are actually flying? Yeah, they do. Foolish question indeed. Then your expression tells me as much. First time traveling the airship? Yeah, first time traveling by an airship. I believe it will be. It's hot. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand this for and how to wield it. But the rest is all foggy. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Well, uh, that's what sometimes happens. And yet, hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confused, disbelief, or something that you clearly think is a commonplace. It's fine. It can be. It's like, what if I went to another planet and then it's like, whoa, there's no. What? Airships? There's no airships here. What were you thinking? We're in Spagonia? sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on it, this, on this, is pointless. Forward is the only way. Yeah. Uh, but it's okay for you to have questions. I, I remember that I always have, like, uh, questions that I, it's like when I was young I couldn't even ask it felt like I couldn't even ask questions like or answer <laughs> because I knew that like my answer would be like uh, uh, I don't know <laughs> to feel that uh, bracing wind the deck suddenly beneath your feet as you arrive into the sky my memory may be faulty but that was an experience I'm sure I'm more not Soon forget. Hmm. I I wonder if like if they make a reference with these games, like the main character is like, I remember. I, I I it's like I went to another dimension, but then I went back and uh uh I went to our airship and then I met this uh uh character who's called a warrior of light and they said that they, they, it's like, oh, you want to go to the airship? And it was so easy. It was like you go inside, and then you float by for a big giant balloon. And <laughs> to feel that bracing wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty. I, I, I do wonder, yeah. So this is Gordinia. It seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it's best if I follow your lead. Oh, it's a company. We keep here at your side in order to proceed the quest objectives. You can leave Clyde behind by entering a different area, or by speaking with him, selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have Clyde to join you again, return and speak with him at the original location. Oh, okay. Come with me, Clyde! <sighs> I mean, Clive. This city certainly has a different feel of all done. Not only by architecture, but the people as well. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I hope I'm not running too fast. Oh, oh look, 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 there's a place for you to... Come, come, come on, Clive. It's okay. This town reminds me somewhere I've been there. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping us at smoke. Maybe if you were to show me somewhere else? Yeah, sure. Come on. Come on, Clive. Here, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Where 
What about here? A giant crystal. That used to be our teleportation. What do you think, Clive? Oh, he's talking about the Shokubu. Wait, really? Oh, Shokubu. Now that's something I recognize. Yet, it's more than that. I had my own Shokubu once, I'm sure of it. Uh, I don't remember if the, if the creature died in one of the cutscenes in the beginning, or I'm not sure anymore. Well, the soldiers did die. Some of the soldiers there were him, with him died, if I remember. But as for the when or the where, did they also eat <laughs> the actual grass that we know? <laughs> Buddy, buddy, buddy. Where do we go? Oh, 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 oh. It's the, over there. Over there, Clive. Look, look, look. Shiny, shiny, shiny location. So, Clive, tell me. Tell me what you see. Impressive crystal. Yes, it sure is. Not a mother crystal, sure. No, not nearly large enough. Wait, do you also have a mother crystal? Ah! Huh. I try to remember the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. Oh, but that's nice that you have a mama crystal. Does she also give you warning signs like flashbacks or something? Um, maybe we can go by the other side. Surely. Surely you can go by here, right? Can we go here? It's not out of the town, that's for sure. Where do we go? Wait, Clive is gone. Apparently, uh, I left Clive. It has to be in that place. Clive, where are you, buddy? Where are you? Clive! I, I thought it was only out of town, not... Where are you? I lost Clive. Have you seen a tall guy with uh, brown hair? He has a cape, but he has a red shirt. He shows a bit of his beautiful chest. Just saying. Have you seen him? <laughs> oh, he also has a beard, right? Yeah, he has a bit of beard and tattoos. Uh, anyway. Yes! Come on, come on, Clive. Th th this way. I, I, I thought that going through, through, through things. Is... Forgive me, Clive. I, I, uh, may oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Nah, maybe. We should try. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, maybe he wants to see the Moogles. He also has Moogles in his style. Look, there's the Moogle. Isn't he nice? Uh. What else, buddy? Do you want to go to see the archers? Oh, hi, buddy. Nice sword. Uh... Archers? What do you think? Archers, do they spark something out of you? Like, maybe seeing their people inside? Can, can we see inside of the job? Is that okay? Or is that forbidden too? Here. Uh, here? No. Nothing? Nothing? Okay, nothing. Okay, what, where do we go? Uh, ah! Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> here I went. Oh, you, you want to see archers? Maybe archers will bright your memory. Or, or the book. <laughs> Or a fountain! <laughs> Anything can <laughs> maybe bring your memories. Who knows? I had to try. <laughs> I mean, if the the game itself didn't have directions, like uh, it's like uh, like in in those mouse uh, uh, click games, I I click everything. It's like even even now, I mean. Um, my last game was this. Okay, here, here. Is this? What? What are you gonna say here? Life?
Is this any of this familiar? This is truly a beautiful place. Do you remember anything else? Three flushes of this and that. Nothing to suggest I've been here before. I can't shake the strangest feeling. Hmm. <sighs> if it is too peaceful, that doesn't sit right. Patrol! Reporting! Commander! All is quiet in the exile. No sightings of Gr Garunda. Garunda? For which we are profoundly grateful at ease, soldier. Oh. You you wanna hit Did he say Garuda? Wait. You there. This Garuda you speak of. Sir, are you alright? Harbinger, do you know this gentleman? Oh, I found him in the walk and he's trying to remember stuff. Remembering us, you say? Oh, sorry to hear that. Though it seems Garuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I was in battle with Garuda, a father. I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything to help me to remember my past. Of course. Ordinio owns a depth of gratitude any who stood against the destructive fiend. However, there's one more suited to to the test than I. Our elder Sitsia is well versed not only in primal lore but also in the Treatment of bodily infliction. She is surely your best hope for recovery. I will send a word ahead to see still gailed fade. Stand ready to escort our guests to, the, to an audience. Understood, Commander. Pray find me in the Ficus Altar in Old Gordinia. I'll see you that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. Okay. Oh, we're, we're right here. Oh, wonderful. I've... Lotus Stand is just ahead. Follow me, please. Certainly. I'm carrying Clive, right? He's with me, right? He didn't disappear in a fl uh, in a swell swoop. Greetings, honored guests. Hi. Good to see you. It's been two weeks. How have you been? Commander Helmholtz has pre- Imprecise me with your friend's condition. This is he? Yeah. A pleasure to meet you. I am Kai Insina, Elder Seed Seer of Gordinia. Thank you for your gracious welcome. I am Clive, though beyond that I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please, concern yourself not with priorities. This memory of loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakens some previous recollection. Yes, in the instant that I heard a hazy vision of a battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps if you could hear more of Garuda. I wish I easily granted. Garuda is defined reverend by the Ixal, a people who once dwelt here in Telswood. 
She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half human woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her capricious temper, and unpredictable as howling storm. Should add that Harbinger has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. Yeah. Uh, she was not the only one though. Uh, a winged woman, volatile temperament with the power over the wind. A fitting description of the moment I remember. Uh, but, but a deity? No. The will behind that was Charles's visage was distinctly mortal. I suspect Clive's Garuda in Osria's Primal are not one and the same. Oh, hey, buddy. Did you enter without permission or did you have a ticket? <laughs> Finally, as Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, Mistral. I went back where we discovered Clive and questioned the folk in all nearby settlements. No one, no, not one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo at speaking the notice of every look of Ruminogger from mouths around? Improper, to say the very least. That led me to consider another possibility, one consistent with the past accounts. I have heard the visitors from other worlds, somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. Yes, I have plenty of those. We're getting a list. A brand, it's... it's a mark of a barrel. Does it pay you to remember? I feel the memory is trying to serve us, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ring feels my ears. Ruder, error, Ifrit. Another primal's name, though it has seemed the pain has less than a tangible source. Long as I study the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stains not from the issue nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth. The mind creating a shield of brain to protect the heart. The bearer is my own making. How then I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Yeah. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversary. sure about this. Cl Cl Clive has doubts. <laughs> Clive has doubts what you said to him. <laughs> so, you thank me from another world. And my memory said world are not like the to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refused to remember. This confounding dilemma, I agree, and I have given a thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles that bind your mind may yet to be stuck off in the heat of battle. Just imagine, perhaps, especially when you're not at your best. How about we fight trauma with another trauma? All for the whole family. Which is why I turn to you, Hobbinger. You are the twins, uh, the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I see is thick with thorns, but you have if you feel the will to walk it. 
then grinded a full more and waved me at Apakolu Falls. Okay, pardon, guys. All right, Clive, let's go. Minstrel has a point, it seems, but it shares a little beyond the confusing metaphor. Still, I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. We're to meet him at Apakalulu Falls, right? Where is that to be found? Uh, I'll get you there. Don't worry. I, you know you can. You can. Uh, you know I'll. I'll bring the the mount of a car, and we can go ride it together, guys. <laughs> It's also a, 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 probably a new experience for him, knowing Clive. <laughs> Where am I? I can't go. Where's the new crystal? that um what else am I about to say I'm hoping that the the after today I'll uh, I'll be at these hours unfortunately at the hours of lunch these days it has to be because uh, it's I, I'm trying to 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 get in there <laughs> you know I'm trying to get used to this habit again of me uh go going to do the streams going to do animation again and see how it works if i'm okay or not we'll see this place why here because this waterfall is where the legendary archon Zox gathered the band of inventors in the time of the seven ubro calamity Their purpose to extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit? But, but I'm Ifrit! <laughs> Sorry, I, I already knew he was Ifrit. Even if for the trailer. <clears throat> I know something's there. I just... Why can't I remember? several words in the elders seats here presence words which brought him pain by the way i'm just going to check something i didn't check before but i think it's like if i can hear you guys can hear the music right it's not just me ah yes you you can you can i, I was just hallucinating but after this, I also going to try to get Barulu, um, recall several words the elder sister's present, words which brought him pain. While the significance of Barrel eludes me, you and I are more than familiar with Ifrit. In our world, yes, but in his world, it's totally different. I, I, even in Final Fantasy uh, X, I know that uh, um, the summons are from people who passed away, and they have their own stories as well. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, this is likely that the primal or the equivalent in the world is deeply connected to, in your, to your condition. Thus, I have resolved the wave of my lyric majestics and bring you face foot to face with the Ifrit of our world. So, here, with the Akron's Lefalos bathe an inferior path to the Primal's lair, will my words be given substance, and within the vision which takes a form, will you do battle with the Phantom of our mind's creation? Imaginary duel this confrontation will be, I fear your suffering will be too real. 
yet you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and take upon the strength of your shining tool. Your past awaits. Gonna be okay, buddy. We're we're here together. Yeah, I'm ready. Where he has sent us. You stand in the bowl of embers. The site where the Ajima summoned their pride to deity, and the stage upon which the Warrior of Light has became the Slayer of Gods. This but a conviction illusion, the body recounted the tale giving breath by the faithful verse. Come forth, Lord of Inferno! Look, the eclipse. <laughs> ah, I mean, Nacrit, Fesmus, Fesis, Mile, yet not quite the effort you know. No, not quite the same. But if this is him for it, who am I? Is this the effort you know? <laughs> you okay? Ready when you are, buddy. Together then. Yeah. Together. All right, time to settle in. Did I? After two weeks, I I managed to put open this book and be the summoner that I am in level fifty. Fifty. Yeah, fifty. No, fifteen. Fifty. That's the thing which killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on its trail, seeking vengeance for my brother. Mm -hmm. Sure you have. This thing was paid. Fuck with me, Harbinger. Alright. Let's see two weeks! Music. So epic. During this battle, you will gain access to special duty actions as follows. Oh, 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 I see. Use rising flames to charge the foe to inflict high damage. Ah. And then what? With the proper timing, you can dodge to avoid taking damage, even if you are within the area of the enemy's attack. Ah. Dodge button. To a certain attacks perceive the counted icon. Uh, when this countdown progresses, the, the dodge icon. Quickly use the dodge icon. Okay. So it's a dancing routine? Is this what it is? After years of you successfully dodge, the dodge action will change position strike, which provides an opportunity to inflict the additional damage. I am ready! To arms, friend! Where's the, where's the big guy? Wait, did I fail that? 
my time. What am I? Oh, come on. Oh. my skills or it's just like they say in timing so what the mm. yeah. fine normal it's like it, it will sue me if I do it not normal even though it's like I whatever man I, I'm just plenty confused do I flick damage because I'm not seeing it bro I get it is to avoid it then I inflict damage and then I 
thing, right? That's... I should have read more carefully. But... Deliver is... Precision? Right. Then what am I doing wrong, buddy? Can I... Thank you. Maybe that's...
think I get it. You like me very much. I like you too, but come on. Why he can't do all this the dodge and I cannot? I wish I could do the dodge too. It's like I'm here. Come on, let me go in. Another to spare myself the guilt. I fear that by accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. But I accept the truth of it now. You are not an infant. I am. Not be 
Jesus! Badass! Blazing, man! You're a war on fire! Whoa, you, you need you need some help? Are you okay? In the victory against of your own mind, it would seem you have emerged the... the what? Intriguing. Hi, I'm the fairy godmother. I'll take you back home. Just put your red slippers, click the card you wish to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the wolf is the fairy godmother, I don't know. <laughs> hey, I know you. Our very best friends. Just like in Tales of Vesperia. Uh, it's the very best friend. <laughs> the main character. So, how you feel? The illusion is unravel, and yet you've brought a friend back with you. There's a struggle, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There is no more loyal ally in battle, and no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. That would explain the aberration in the leisuring ether. Trongal is here to lead you back to your own world. Just like the car! <laughs> Sorry. Clave has embraced his harrowing past. In doing so, reclaimed the memories he lost. No, not a conscious act. He manifests his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. What can he do without that guy? Without that pet? Ah, even so, it was difficult to accept what I have done. My younger brother, Joshua, was kind and gifted soul. Yeah. Inherited of the Phoenix Flames, he was destined to become Archduke. As our father had before him, but Joshua was murdered in his bright future cut short. I didn't see that part yet through the story, I just saw this little glimpse, but yes, uh, I think there's more than that. From the days onwards, I leave one purpose alone. Dominant of fire had slain my brother. I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer until one day I came to understand it had been me all along. I was young and distraught. When I first summoned Ifrit, I had known such power lurked within me, or that it would, could even exist at all. The transformation was this. Uncontrolled. It was by my hand that Joshua died. Ah, uh, apparently my mouth is like. <laughs> I think I'm going to put the lights on. It's getting dark. Oh, that. I think there's more to that besides your brother dying. <laughs> I'm sure. Just saying. Because to be fair, you're your family, man. <laughs> I mean I played just a few seconds and I already was like, man, I do not like that mother. <laughs> The 
transmission means things uncontrolled. It was by my hand that Joshua died. I can but imagine the anguish this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and guilt will never escape. But I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power. I needed to know why. It was a search of answers. I went to the Phoenix Gate, delved into the runes below, and I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth. Then everything faded to black. Black. Hmm. Your tales suggest that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your inevitable story journey. So yeah, there's more into that than than what happened. That's like yeah. If you arrive in Osri from a place sacred to the Phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. <laughs> yes. What are you thinking? I'm thinking to see it, uh, that you see you home. Then he must return to the. Uh, we must return to the beginning. Our road takes back to the burning hall. Once there, your furry com mom comrade will lead us exactly where we need to go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, go, Torga. Go, take us home. Take him home. He needs to go home. I still have a feeling there's more into that story, even though it's like... Yeah, I already knew. <sighs> Gee and I we were like... We were like, gasp, we didn't know! <laughs> it kind of like... There was even you. Country home, take me home. Take a Clive, little Clive, and a little Torga. Take him home to home to his land, so he can drive and figure out of his own discoveries. <laughs> Sorry, Clive. Can't resist. Take him home. Okay, I think this is the spot. We've come this far, now Torgo will be our guide. Such a was the purpose of his creation, after all. Ready, Torgo? Take me home. Once you chose to depart, Clive and the Wonder Ministry will accompany you. Torgo will begin leading you onwards. Follow Torgo to, hi to his destination and try not to fall behind. If you leave Clive and Ministry for any reason, you will lose tight of struggle. You may try again by returning to the starting point. Okay, follow Torgo. Go, buddy! I I'm following you! Go, go, go! There he goes, little turgo. And there he goes, little turgo, to take us home. I'm getting sneezy. I need tissues. Clive. What? Ah. There we go, Clive. You can go home.
C'est un site, oui. Oh. The tale ends where it began. Where you first found me. Indeed. I was baffled as at why this, of all places, would serve a junction between our two worlds. But now I think I understand. You do? Some years ago, Osria was visited by a cos cosmic disaster known as the Seven Oberal Calamity. Yet, even as fire and ruin threatened all we held near, the world underwent a mystical renewal. Thus, as the star was reborn. One of the theory attributes the miracle to the benevolent entity, claiming that the undying phoenix flare into being to save us in our hour of dire's need. Ah, the phoenix? <sighs> the burning wall itself is a scar left by those events, its crystal ridges having abrupt from the earth overnight. Some believe these monoliths of sultified flame to be proof of the phoenix deliverance. The bond with your brother, the phoenix of your world, may have been the connection which brought you to this sacred place in ours. Drawn to the flame. There you go, Clive. Good luck on your world. It seems our time together is at the end. Thank you both for all you've done. No problem, Clive. Good luck out there. Press on, friend. No matter the daunting, the hardship, or the bitter, the truth. Uh, how daunting the hardship, or bitter, the truth. May your journeys be fair. No, yeah. Press on, friend. Always, no matter what fate awaits us at the journey's end. Come, Torgo. We have answers to seek. Felistia waits. story from so flitting uh, intercept you can try that's okay you can try I try to <laughs> but then honor belongs to someone else someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion sadly the power to peer into other worlds was not granted to me by this day as miracles I wonder however if you might manage it harbinger yeah, I have a game at home. I will try to play it. <laughs> Our little adventure is over. Set motion as it was by a dream most cryptic. I must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. It's okay, buddy. As you promised, reward. I hope this is sufficient. Trongo proves such trustworthy guy that I thought bind his likeness into summoning whistle. Oh, thank you. I will, uh, may his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels until we meet again. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. All right, let's see. Where's the whistle? Oh, there it is. Yay, I got the whistle. I got the thing. I got the clothes and everything. I got the puppy. I got the puppy. I got the clothes that- Oh, let me see. How, how do I look? Ah, I do- uh, uh, clothes, please. Just that. Yeah, much better. Ah! Nah. Nah. That's- I prefer his chest. <laughs> ah, nah. Nah. I prefer his beautiful chest. Just that's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I put it sword? Where's the sword? There it is. The sword button. I'll take care of that another day. Uh, there was something that I didn't deliver because I was a dum dum. I thought that it, the cutscene was done, everything is delivered. But no, apparently I forgot to talk one last time to the journalist on the other time. Forgive me, everybody. Uh. Boop, boop, boop. Yep, yep, yep. I need tissues. Can he, can I get out of the gate just for a bit so I can talk to her so I can deliver the quest and she can go home too? Instead of me waiting for me. <laughs> well, wasn't that an adventure, Habinda? It is sad to think we might soon part ways. What we all have been through in these past few new moons. Satisfied with the city's unwillingness to turn in over the Guardian's genomes, has decided to purchase the permanent part of the Kugane for the Prima Vista. Supposedly, he's already received petitions. Petitions? Ah, oh, from hundreds of Gekko and Geni to join the company. And there is the matter of my assignment. We'll be delighted to learn that I am almost. Finished? What? How do you expect me to write one expose when I went off battling evil force the battling forces of evil from beyond the void? Don't you worry though. A few more weeks and I'll have a drought. Alright, an outline. Until then, I'll stay here in Kugane a while longer at the Raven's expense. Of course. Farewell. Farewell. Fresh being fit champion Zeus. Yeah, sure. Abuse me. I sh shall be the after. Uh, Varun create. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just like reading uh, inside. Do you want me to, for now? Let's uh, make a, a small break. So, 
It's like almost dinner time. What do you think? I go to talk to Totoro. That's the beginning of Shadowbringers. Shall we start it a bit? Yeah, or you want me to continue and then... I finished the collab, I finished the collab. Yeah! I have the puppy! You should have seen me, bro. I was not doing so great at first. Got the puppy and the dog? Yeah, and the clothes too. The clothes you can put in the armor. Yeah, I'll put it. Uh, wait, already? Even though it's here? I'll put it in the armor. No, no. Go to the end. Mm. Yeah, I have to go to the end. That's right. Uh, uh, I have the puppy too. Where's the, how do I see the puppies? I think. Damn it! I, I switched! No, I didn't want to switch! Hold on! No! Everything is ruined! Got it. You, you, I know that you might see it, that you. I, I look like I don't know things, but I do. What do you mean by that? I am not silly. I've been always this silly, and yet you like me. Look, I wanted more this puppy than the. Not music? Oh, so I can put it in my inn? Oh, do I have to get it in by playing gold saucer? Is that it? Oh. Very little. <laughs> so you want me to talk to Tatu Tataru now? That's just one hour we have left before dinner time. Mm. You know what I'm thinking? I don't know what to eat. Hmm. I'm kind of more hungry than just a few rice balls, to be honest. I know, as a snack, but to me... back guys and then we'll we'll finally talk to Tauturu so we can finally begin Shadowbringers. Be right back everybody uh, let me put the button be right back button <laughs> there we go see you all soon
Setting myself up. Okay. I have returned. Hold on. <laughs> I have returned. <laughs> Alright, we're ready for this. I don't know if I'm going to change my outfit later or not, but... Uh, I hope you like this outfit for Shadowbringers. I was like, oh, maybe this one. Even though I was like, I wear this in <laughs> some parts when I was uh, in the in the dragon place. Anyway, I knew you'd be all right. And to celebrate your return, I made you this. A new brand traveling. Oh, oh, I do hope it fits. Oh, thank you. I, I shall wear it. <laughs> now it's not the time to fuzz over in measurements. I must go and speak the researchers. You go and rest a while while we track down that beacon. Um, may I take a look? Here I was, and like, oh, I should think about my outfit and stuff. And it's like, here you go, have a new outfit. Oh, lovely, I want to see it. Let me see if I look good. Gasp. Oh, gasp. All right, that guy. My enemy, my friend. Had I been but a step faster. Okay. Bloody savages! A pity your hunt leads you elsewhere. Not that I am surprised. May you find joy in it. Grow stronger, more savage, and savor every triumph. Is this the true Zenos? You know? <laughs> because the way he talks. In the meantime, I will reclaim that which is rightfully mine. He does talk like that. He said, my enemy, my friend. Was he talking about me? Fast up, fast Hmm. Ooh. I think I know this place. Oh, I mean... Oh, uh, uh, hmm. I'm outside where Totoro and I were talking. Hmm. Oh, the Crystal Tower! Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe he was... Maybe it is him. Maybe. Yeah, it is him. I mean, it's red. And he has red. Red's... He's a red cat. There's only one red cat that I know. In the mist of Requin for heroes, a void rings out across time and space. It feels of tranquil of light, sold you seeds of darkness. Oh! Ooh! Nice. Oh, let me see, Taltaru. Let me see what you got for me. Let me, let me check. I'm curious what outfit did you... The mask of... Oh. Oh! I am sh- <laughs> Speaking, it's like, I saw just now, a few- uh, in my break, I saw the fearless video from Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Ooh, I look so edgy. Oh, this is- this is quite nice. I, I have to say, this is quite nice. <sighs> I, I want this outfit. Okay. We'll, we'll go this way. Uh, woo, more outfits. Wonderful. 
carry on, my girl. Good news, Harbinger. We have struck of luck in the search of that beacon. Apparently, our colleagues have stumbled across a hidden path leading down into the hollows around the base of the crystal tower. What a coincidence! I was just looking at it. A path I doubt we ever have found had the ironworks and the suns not added their numbers to the party. Thanks to them, we have eager eyes, uh, plenty down there, checking under the rocks and peering into the every nook and cranny. Still, it sounds like there's a lot of the ground to cover. Uh, better go. We better go and give them a hand. <laughs> sounds tedious, works. Not as tedious as waiting around, I suppose. Now, let's give them a hand. Thoughts exactly. The sooner we found this picket, the sooner we can travel to wherever it is this mysterious voice is coming from. And the sooner we can work out how to help our friends. We have to find a way to wake them up and before the Empire comes calling again, meaning we have no time to lose. Indeed. There's a boat in the north civil tier waiting for the ferry people to decide. So let us be on our way. Ooh, so edgy. Shadow bring us. I am a what I am. <laughs> I am. Get here and never me. <laughs> I will tell the set you free. I <clears throat> can resist after they showed me that video and now all I can think is Shadow the Hedgehog even though we, even with that torturous cloak that she gave it me I feel so edgy edgy outfit edgy uh, music edgy everything mm, nim, nim, nim. so edgy <laughs> Head into the sewer side, madam. It's on the central shore of the lake, and the swiftest way to get there is by boat. Yes, please. people there are well I would doubt should we get to it now pick up anything that seems the least bit device like and we'll make ourselves a pile yeah sure thing well if it isn't the hero of the hour maybe you'll change our look we found bugger all without you figs wedge Aww. Aww. <laughs> aye aye well, we could hardly say no to a call for aid from the Scions. Jesse called it the chief of some other business. So we'll be working twice as hard to make up for his not being here. Aww. Thrice as hard, even. Aww. <sighs> Thank you, both of you. I'm sure we'll find that beacon in no time. Indeed. I'm not seeing anything out here. Hmm. Do you reckon you could squeeze in there, Wedge? And get <laughs> stuck halfway? No, thank you. Yeah, that is a probability. I could try if you like. Aw. Uh, now he's going Guitar into volunteer. No, we couldn't ask you to do that. Oh, I'll be fine. This receptionist is not afraid to get her hands dirty. Oh. <gasps> oh, 
I found something, apparently. What did I find? Huh? What? What did we find? Sorry, I, I meant to say... The scholars haven't finished their preliminary assessment of the site yet, so we're not supposed to venture too far I have far good in. eyes in the distance, that apparently. Hmm. What's that you got there? A gear? Now that looks promising. What a brand uh, of a Isn't there. that the ironworks symbol? Counterfeiters? No. Oh. No, I have you. Ah. You are right. Oh. What's happening? The gracious damn it! <laughs> Stop! Stay with me! Doing it that! Focus please. on my voice! Okay, I will! But it expands, contract. Eon become instant! Great! Fantastic! Wait. This must be it! The device! Well, this is supposed to happen! Throw wide the gates that we may pass. Why are you doing Don't this? Me, warrior of light. Find our friends and bring them home. I will, Totoro, I will. Right. Oh, Everything hey. that was asked of us, and still, still it came to this. Wait, what? These are shards from Mama Crystal? Oh, there you are. Not yet come. Hey, Mama Crystal. I mean, uh, the the Scion, the leader of the Scions. Who? Whoa. What? Where am I? Okay, there's a shadow over there. Don't tell me he has come back after all of that. It looks like him. A guy we tried to help, but the, the Mama Crystal decided to help. Is that him? It looks like him, yeah! What? It's gonna be connected to our world again? I mean... He has to, right? Made those scenes so they can be connected again, just like any comic or story would do. Where? Wait, where am I? Oh. Okay. Huh. This feels probably like a dream. Is it? Or am I in the uh, in his room? Endless dreams I awake. What? Oh, I hear you, mate. Ah. Uh. Something vague, yet urgent, calls me to action once more.
Wait. than nothing. Uh, hey! Oh, wait! I know you! Hello! You were from the beginning! Rare to meet someone out here who's not a peddler himself. What brings you into the wilds this time of night? Aren't you the guy that I met in the beginning of the game? You look like you are. Where are we? What do you mean, this time of night? Yeah, what do you exactly mean by that? <laughs> well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. Me granddad, God's rest his soul, used to tell that one to the barman a kicking out time. Mm -hmm. So where are we? And when, pray tell, did we last have a dark night? You rotten old drunk yet, he'd reply. Ah. <sighs> I see. So, are you from here, or you got it from here? Over a hundred bleeding years ago, that's when. <laughs> I mean, a Final Fantasy, I'm not surprised about that one part, no. <laughs> you got that look down to a T. I'd almost think you meant it. Hmm. Not really. Ah, got to you, did they? Poor beggar. That explains it, then. Wait, who, who did? Ah, uh, no, thank you. I don't drink. Well, I've roads to travel and wares to sell, but you, you best hurry along to the town nearby. Just head east through the trees oh. and aim for the shining tower. Oh, thank You'll you. find the place soon enough. It is the biggest settlement for malms around. Oh, thanks, mate. Go Better on go now, down. friend. They'll take good care of you in the Crystarium. Crystarium? Hmm. Alright. Go down for sure. But you don't need to... to uh, I, I don't... Uh, I'll just... I have my own uh, mount. No worries, friends. the blinding canopy. Sure is beautiful. There, oh it will all begin anew. Between dark and light. The pure and the corrupt. The one true struggle. Alright. Hey! Here we are! A 
every face in this city I know. Yours, I do not. I just arrived. This Forgive is the threshold me. of the Crystarium, stranger, and I am its gatekeeper. If you would enter, you will answer my questions. All right. Uh, question away. From where do you hail? Ozur uh, Ozria. Yeah. Do you take me for a fool? No such place exists. Had you given me an honest answer, I would not have barred your way. We care little here for a person's place of origin, but instead, you chose concealment. And I will not suffer you to pass. to go through, to be honest. That one had eaten. It must have gulped down the whole hand. Ring and all. What? But that ring is familiar. <gasps> no! What? What? In the world is going on. Everything all right, Captain? <gasps> it's him, isn't he? he? It's him. He's the one who called me. <gasps> it's him. Quite all right, my lord. Just a stray sin eater and a weak one at that. Hey. I see. Weak or not, we should be on the lookout for more. see you. But I see you've met my guest. I will escort her to the Crystarium myself, if you've no objections. Another of your mysterious friends, is it? I should have known. Very well. I'll inform the others your guest is to be given the run of the city. Thank you. Pray forgive my less than cordial welcome. May the rest no, of your stay fine. with us be a pleasant one. No, it's all right. I get it. You're doing for securities. You're doing a good job. Come with me. I will answer whatever questions you have when we are somewhere more private. Of course. Can't wait to see your face again. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your tail, buddy? Right then. Before we plunge into the where's and wherefores, let me first thank you for answering my summons. Well, you gave me such headaches, no offense, and also you also took my friends away from uh not the greatest moments, but I understand why you called me still. I wish you didn't take them them away. You could have taken me away. Only me, and not my friends. They need to stay there, not to be unconscious, if you get what I mean. I had intended to bring you directly to my personal quarters, but I fear my aim was slightly off. Oh. That you're still able to make the crossing unharmed is a great relief. You're still not the hang of it, huh? I am. Okay, that's interesting. And so, we come to the question of where. The realm in which you now find yourself belongs to one of the 13 reflections or shards. The first, to be precise, even if its inhabitants are largely oblivious to the fact. Oh. Really? As to wherefore, having been awarded the rather grandiose title of Crystal Exarch, <laughs> I, in uh, my capacity as caretaker of the Crystarium, for to seek the aid of you and your companions. So, you call them here too? They're here? They're here as well. Yeah, are this this other signs are here? Ah, that is a question with no simple answer. But all shall be explained in due course, I promise you. 
how long it will take to explain me that. Can Let you explain me a short skies version? Above. Okay, longer version then. Here in the first, the world has been all but consumed by primordial light. Okay. It began a century ago, by this realm's reckoning. A luminous flood swallowing everything in its path. More than nine-tenths of this star was lost. And the fortunate few who survived are hounded by abominations born of that catastrophe even now. Huh. Sin eaters, we call them. Hmm. The creature you saw earlier was one such monstrosity. So, how does he become a scene eater? It's just through the light? From the primordial light? I have so many questions. It was to save the first from this menace that I learned to bridge the rift between worlds. That I might call upon the aid of the greatest of heroes. Though it meant depriving the world of its champion, I had to try. For in saving the first, you would bring salvation to the source as well. Okay. Is it really gonna help <sighs> to... But what manner of host harangues his guests in the middle of the road? Let us continue our talk within the Crystarium. How about in the uh, in halfway? We can talk a while we're walking towards it. Please, I have so many questions. <laughs> and I have to be sure when I understood what you said, or else it's like. I might not understand 50, uh, I might understand only 50. Sanctuary for the living in a world all but resigned to oblivion. Is this what protects them from Each the Each stone light? was laid with hope. The town itself a symbol. A monument to defiance in the face of death. I am now curious about the meals here. No would-be hero could fail to answer its call. For who among us does not yearn for salvation? Who's those creatures? Where are the names? Here we are. Welcome, my friend, to Crystaria. Thank you. Although I am curious again with the outfits. Also that music. Ah, you gave me a new book. I shall try it. Thank you. Ah, uh, carry on, my friends. What else do you need to say to me? Now, full and and frank discussion in privacy of my study will be in order. I think our conversation would be more meaningful if you were the first to gain the primary grasp of the situation here. To that end, I would like you to visit a few of Crystallium civic leaders and glean something of this world and its predicaments. Alright. I, I thought you were going to explain me along the way instead of me figuring out. As you can see, this path will take you directly to Ifa. A convenience with which I am sure you are only too familiar. It's a pretty crystal. 
being wrathful object of my summoning spell, I should try in theory to be able to reach all the way along your ethereal trail to find the connection in the source, believe it or not. I strongly suggest to complete this autumn before venturing any further. Okay. I hear you. After you've done so, walk up steps next to Afrin and head out to the left to arrive to Crystal Mean. Crystal Mean? Mean! And this is where you will find the collective crafters, gathers as well. There's spoke woman, Catalyst, one of the people you should I should I should like you to meet. Okay. Uh, another Warren, reach him in his convenient of curiosity. You will want to avoid aforementioned steps. Take the exit to the left and simply continue straight along down until you come large doors at the end of the path. Okay. The third and final person I should uh, like you to meet is Barty, our man in charge of trade and distribution. He is to be found in the markets, which you can access from the opposite side of Aphrodite Plaza. Alright. I, I think I get it. In seeking out each of my colleagues, you will visit major districts of the city and hopefully f gain feel for the place. I trust my directions were simple enough. I hope so. <laughs> to the right and the down the where now? <laughs> Now, close to clear. I think I got it. Ah, very good. I can see the layout of the crystal room owns more the, to historic necessity than planning, but I am sure you will learn its twists and turns before long. In all honesty, the true challenge may be in finding the right way to approach its citizens. As you discover during your encounter with the captain, the people it in of this world are unaware of the existence of other stars and will struggle to accept the truth of your origin. Then what should I say instead when they ask? That being the case, if they ask, ah, there you go, he said, they invitably will. I suggest you claim to share a homeland with the crystal Arash. Uh, Arash. There is all unspoken rule here about peering too deeply into that particular mystery. Okay. When you have finished making the rounds, bring to meet me in the launch courtyard at the center of the town. Until then. Alright. Oh! Oh, hello, adventure! Yes! Uh, this is my first time arriving here, as you can see. Welcome to my stream. Ah, uh, first touching the crystal. I remember my partner being here for a while, but again, I just arrived. By focusing your senses, you detect the flow vastly distance, currents of influence. Your connection with these energies is faint but stable. You should allow teleportation to Alpharez in the source. Ah! Wonderful! Well, what a wonderful news. Okay, first he said to go here, upstairs, to the left, if I understood correctly. To the left, left. I'm getting to know the city and its people. Ah, but there's a crystal there. I must touch it. Wait, uh, it's below, isn't it? Darn it! I will touch. Where's the crystal? Where is it? Where's the person? I think there's a crystal upstairs. If I am wrong, I saw the person over there. But... Ah, there it is, the crystal. Wonderful, wonderful. I shall explore and touch every teleportation I needed. 
because it is gonna be very needed to do that. Right, can I go downstairs instantly without killing? Ah, there we go. I'm fine. Oh. Hey, Captain Liz. The way that the mobiles are constructed in here somehow res reminds me a bit of Guild of Wars 2. Some parts, not. Nah, it's still Final Fantasy, obviously. Rats see a place so well stocked with goods, isn't it? But not here! I'm going to guess you're new to the Fair City? Or our Fair City? Well, for that what it's worth, you have chosen a fine sanctuary. The arch can throw up a barrier if the sin eaters come knocking. So it's a damn sight safer in here than it, it is out there. Hmm. Safer and more civilized too. Thanks to us in the mean. Mean? Why mean? We work together to procure materials and resources. And the craft and craft the goods which makes the city life's possible. This is the place to visit if you need a coat mended or a cattle forge. Ah alright. So if I need repairs, I'll go to you. Just don't go thinking it, it will all be handed to you on a plate like those Ulmoran's layabouts. Here in the Costarium, we work for for a living. Okay. Though I see you're no stranger to honest labor, you don't have the ift of indolence about you, like some folk I've met. Still, can't quite pin down your profession. Where is it you're from? Uh, uh, from uh, extra exats. One of the Exod's countrymen, you say? I see. Well then, our work is twice as hard to make you feel welcome. Our city wouldn't even exist if it weren't for him. And any of friends is, is a friend of ours. It's quite incredible when you think about it. They say his grand logistics summons the crystal tower into existence and pulled the entire thing out of the thin air. Hmm. It wasn't long before the droves of refugees began congregating around its base, desperate for shelter after losing their homes to the flood. I see. And that's how Crystalline began at Exard's invitation, invitation, buildings started going up, and with the help of some curious, curious relics brought forth from the tower, we place gradually expanded into the thriving metropolis you see today. Ah. The city stood here for decades now, yet the elders among us swear the arch looks exactly the same as he did back then. He isn't in the man of many mysteries, but for all his secrecy, he has never yet let us down. So if he and you wish to remain silent about your shared homeland, then the folk here will respect your wish for privacy. Delightful. I am, however, more than a little curious to see any crafting talent you might be hiding. If you ought to contribute on that front, be sure to come back and visit once you had the chance to settle in. You mean I need to go to a certain level and then I come here to, to increase that level of crafting? Is that what it is? Just ask Catalyst and you'll find the niche here in the crystalline mean mean. Seriously, why mean? Um, sorry. My my apologies, Catalyst. It's just 
you can help us to keep the cogs, cogs of the city greased and turning. Ah, uh, uh, the catalyst has taught you about the life in Krishna. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, is there a crystal here? There is! Oh! Gimme. I have to ask which is the favorite place of my car cookie. Uh, that's below. And I think I feared the other one is below too. <laughs> maneuver just to go that's <laughs> what I do very well what was that there's no fence that means I can jump Upstairs. Ooh, books! Ah! Ooh! Ah! Oh, the acid and the, the whole ah uh, scenery. Oh yeah! Yes, yes. Ooh. Okay. Well, let me let me check for ideas. I'm sorry, guys. It's just ooh. Ah. Uh, yes, that's act. Oh, that's so. Mm, that's actually kind of cool. I. I Glasses. Mm -hmm. Nice. And they're the same types, it seems, right? The same types as this. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Hello, Warren. Uh, excuse me, miss. Are you. Are you recently come to the city, perhaps? I'm quite familiar with. All set civic roles, you see? And well, <coughs> yes. Uh, what I, I, I mean to ask is have you brought any books with you? I rambled scroll, even? A scrap or a scribble on parchment? Uh, what? Uh, my apologies, Fletcher's sentimental possession of mine. As well as, uh, as a profession. The Barry and Morin, at your service, this humble collection is known as the Cabinet of Curiosity. It's a lovely collection you got here, man. As your powers of perception may have likely informed you, my colleagues and I are responsible of curating all manner of tomes, documents, and other vehicles for the written world. Mm, lovely. As horrific as the loss of life and land wrought by the flood unquestionably was, the damage record knowledge was no less catastrophic. We few do all we can to preserve what wisdom and survive. But tell me, what brings you to the cabinet today? Looking any 
title in particular may have a spot of academic research? No, um, actually, Accenture told me to meet you. Oh ho, you have any interest in world or history? Splendid! A full of review of recent events can often you well perspectives. I quite agree. If you prefer something visual uh, uh, to accompany the account, yes, I would, actually. Then I think I have a, a illustrated history book for children somewhere. Just a moment, I'll fetch it for you. Ah, lovely! A perfect book for me. Uh, here we are. Would you like to pull up a chair? Make yourself more comfortable? Uh -huh. On with the lesson, then. Ah. Oh, thank you. Oh, that uh, that's, looks like kind of a big book for children. Oh, oh is it just me? Hmm. A hundred years ago, oh, near enough not to the matter, to matter, villains known as warriors of light slew the shadow keeper, the steward of darkness. Wait, so. Does this place belongs to them? In the wake of this tainted deed, light began to pour into the world as if from unseen cracks. He pulled and slew without cease until the day an enormous blinding wave rose up and swept across our star. We call this calamity the Flood of Light. Everything it touched. It was leech of life and vigor, leaving naught behind but a luminous wasteland. You see. Why the guy was there then? If they were worried that. And yet, just it would have seemed that all would be lost. A savior appear before us. Wait, that's. I think that's her! The Oracle of Light. She stood and twisted us, approaching doom, and by her, she did stay. The, uh, did she stay the flood? Thus was Nova and and Nova at alone spared the fate. I uh, here is sure. It's it's her. Tragedy would, however, arrive in another form, from blasted emptiness, deceased horrors of strange and horrible aspect, bent devil, the few folk who survive. These seed eaters were life incarnate, and their ful fulgment, per se, stole the night from over that sky. See, even now they circled the remaining Pistians, a civilization ever on the hunt for us, ever hungry for our flesh. Hungry little bell. Monsters, aren't they? Is that it? And thus did the world become at what it is? Should you ever wish to hear the tale again, I will go out to retell it for you. Or if you would rather I speak other matters, I, that too would be my pleasure. I should be glad of the company. Ah. You told me the flood of light. Thank you, Morin. Thank you so much. I, I'm glad you you guys took the effort to make a children's book. Because that's my type of books. Even though I am trying to also to read my my own uh, my country's uh, history. Rereading. Uh, I did have it in school, but I wanted to reread it for a reason, for my own reasons. Uh, 
think I got this one. It's missing this one and this one. So he said, uh, "Go straight forward," isn't it? Uh, I think it was. But I have a feeling there's something also on. The f Hold on. I know it. It's below, but uh, since we're here, I might as well get the teleportation. I think it's upper. On the other side. If I am wrong, then by apologies. Um, let's see. There must be a teleportation upstairs. I have a feeling. saying wow that looks so cool oh it just looks a bit uh... I don't want to say that but it, it looks cheap I mean it, I mean I, I like the idea even it's my favorite thing so hold on man I'll talk to you hold on I'm just going to get these crystals he told me to get all these crystals it'll be very handy in the future and This does remind me of the human world in Guild Force 2. It, it was large. Like spacious, this kind of space. Man. I must have worked hard to have all this place. I know Mama Kuru still took the form of my the scion. The lead, uh, who was the second leader of the science, but so this is the world I was thinking. It is their world. Are we really in their world? It's amazing that I remember that, but I also think myself that I kind of edited, kind of is a kind of ish. Added the, the the videos because I was looking for something funny on my streams, and a and my favorite was really the orange <laughs> thing. Uh, new to the city, friend. The spinning head is wide eyes give you away. Well, it's all nice. I like the details. I can't help myself. 
Welcome, my name is Froggy. I am master of these markets. They may they gave a district another official title, but I am not in the habit of using it. Too florid in my house. In any case, our merchants took a range of equipment for Miss Tell, such as yourself. So finding something in your size shouldn't be a problem. I'm sorry, did you say Miss Tell? Yeah. Hi, something wrong. Let's see if we can straight this out. See those two in front of us? The shorter one is a human. The taller one is a elf. Okay. The starting individual there is a gadget. The wall, the one with the horns, is a drone. Oh, and then you have the large Kali shafts with long tails and a knack for rising livestock. Those will be the Zelda. Oh, damn! Okay. Which apparently not the name you know them by. Now, I'm curious to know which far flung region you hail from. Exarch. Exarch. The same as Exarch. Well, that explains it. We don't get too much further flung than that. We have few of your lot pass food in recent years. Despite their obvious learning, they flutter it over the simplest things. But do not worry, should you find yourself confused by a local language or customs, I'll be here to answer your questions. Wait! Foreign language? I need to learn la a new language? Please tell me that you have an easy system for me to indulge. The exchange of bargaining will talk to you about the peoples of the first. Right! Uh, do you have a small class to know how to learn the prime animal language of this place uh, at least some basic words would be nice like hello uh, how are you uh, what's your name uh, my name is I am she he they uh, us, uh, uh, where are you from? Is a bit of a stretch now. Well, how did you fare? Did my colleagues help you from a clearer picture of this world and its people? Yep. They sure did. Yes, it seems you were treated most throughout introduction. I understand it was something of a chore. Does it necessary to grasp these things before we proceed? Understandable. As for the Crystal Tower's origin, you may have noted that the details were sparse. This tractor is, in fact, the self-same one we know from the source transported to the first in its entirely. It was my first attempt at reaching the boundaries between worlds, something of a trial run for your eventual crossing. Though I do not know which era I tore it from, I do know that it's a rival serp- Wait! You don't remember? Wheels of fate in motion. You, you don't remember. That's what you say. You don't remember? Well, as 
quest is. And you learned something of the world which you find yourself now. It's time to fulfill my half of the bargain and explain what has befallen your comrades. Yes, as a good physician, I would rather have an privacy of my quarters. I must go on ahead to the tower and organize a few things. But I shall see if the guard knows to admit you. Yeah, I'm going to say this. I'm not familiar with that name. Is there something I should know? Extraordinary tale, but I'm afraid I find no such infamous resigning in the tower. When it passed into my care, mayhap we can revisit that mystery in another time. But isn't that. Aren't you. Aren't you the cat? You must be. I think it's best we focus on to the present. Room. Oh, wait! This is where you summoned me! I remember this place! You give me a lot of headaches, though! I wish you didn't. In a way. Seriously, aren't you? Welcome to the Ocula, my private study. We can speak here without fear of being overheard. Okay, even with the echo and everything, I'm surprised. I have much to explain, but the truths which I must touch upon in doing so would cause only distress and confusion to the people of this world. Pray keep that in mind. Okay, I do. Are you the Red Cat? Now, I am sure you are desperate to know the fate of your fellow Scions. Yes, that's a hundred percent. To put it simply, they are here in the first. Okay. Their arrival, however, was not as recent as you may imagine. Here. Time flows at a different pace from that of the source. So you're telling me I'll meet my friends to do time. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> Boy, your powers need some work. In the space but of a single hour in your home world, an entire year might pass in the first. And the reverse could also be true. The pace fluctuates without rhyme or reason, and it cannot be predicted. Ah, so we're like in Digimon. That said, in we seem series. to be entering a period of First near equivalence. And thus, for the moment, you need not overly concern yourself with the passage of time. I don't, so... In my time will be seconds, is that what you're saying? As for your companions, however... Yustola and Urianger have dwelt here for three winters, all told, while Thancred's count stands at five. Uh. Even our more recent arrivals, Alfino and Alize, have lived in the first for almost a year. Okay, but what happened to them then, after that time? My intention had been to summon only you, but the art of reaching across worlds has proven exceedingly difficult to master. Thus it was that my fumbling hand closed upon those to whom your fate is most closely bound as well. The, after they were staying here, did you return them back to my world, though? Or you can, uh, you're not As they were not the object certain. of my summons, their transference was incomplete. Perfect, Grit. Though they may appear to possess corporeal Second bodies, time, they huh? are, in truth, merely spirits or third that time. can see and touch. 
Third time, huh? Consequently, while you yourself will be able to pass between worlds with relative freedom, they will not. Much as it grieves me, they are stranded here, unable to return. What? So they cannot return? Wait! Yeah, what have they been doing this whole time, all this time? We spent every waking hour searching for a way to reverse the summoning. In the beginning, at least. Okay. As you may have surmised, however, our efforts met with little success. And then we all but abandoned the endeavor once Uriange shared with us the vision he had witnessed during his journey through the rift. Okay. In that chaotic no man's land between realms, time and space warp and blend in unexpected ways. What Uriange saw was the future, that which would one day come to pass. In his vision of tomorrow, the first was rejoined with the source. Okay. This collision of worlds brought about the eighth umbral calamity and the deaths of countless multitudes. Okay. Amongst those who perished, Uriange clearly saw the fall of the Scion's mightiest champion. He watched you die. Okay. So that's and why... thus did the Scions embrace their exile and began searching this world for a means to forestall the coming catastrophe in yours. Their souls okay. are stranded in the first, yes, but they have fought on, desperate to save their home and you from destruction. Nor have their efforts been in vain. For it was they who finally established that the elimination of the Sin Eaters will indeed serve to prevent the Calamity. Okay. Considering these circumstances of our meeting, you would be forgiven for doubting my version of events. Hmm. But the way that you transported me here makes a lot of sense. The fact that you... <sighs> Messed up so many times transporting only me here. You know? And so, before all else, I would suggest you track down your comrades and hear the tale from their lips. Ah, so I can find my mates yet here. I shall of course Good. be happy to assist in these reunions, and you need not make any decisions regarding your involvement until you are certain of where you stand. Okay. Meanwhile, I promise I will not rest until I have found a way to help your friends return home. Thank you. That's a really... I really appreciate that. What say you? Have I earned your trust for the moment, at least? Well, I would like to see my friends first, if you don't mind. Because, again, the way you transported them were not a very nice thing to see or witness. Probably even in their eyes. They probably share some of their emotions, too. Uh, I... but I will see you keep that promise. For what for... A, of a better choice. For the moment. Uh... I, I don't want to... Yeah... I'm sorry. Yeah, you better keep that promise. You better bring my friends back to my to their world. They really are needed there too. I need Excellent. them there. You will not regret this. With that settled, we shall have to see about getting you ready for the road. Traveling across the rift has no doubt left you weary. I will arrange for a room where you might rest in comfort. While it's being prepared, perhaps I can show you around. Oh, sure. Fine. I would like to see my friends first, to be honest, but okay. No offense, my friend, I missed them! I'm 
Poor Tartary, she probably missed them to death. The crystal bros, uh, bros the number of resentful districts. But I have been informed that the room has been become available at the pandits. Okay. Which it turned out is perfect. Our path there will take us past the markets, and I was hoping to give you one the structures of their wares. Come along. Don't tell me. This is the Musica Universalis, the commercial heart of the Crystarium. All you might need to prepare for your journeys can be purchased here. Thank you. That's very nice. Ah, there's food there. I am curious about their cuisines. And materials. Ah, yes. You must be curious about the currency. Fear not. The gill you carry will serve you well enough. Ah, gill works here. Good. Each nation once minted its own coins, but was all a jumbled mess following the flood. After yeah. much debate, the local merchants eventually elected to revert to the old ways, wherein a coin's value was decided by the worth of its metal. Okay. As for a unit of measurement, we agreed upon the term gill, a word borrowed from coins uncovered within the crystal tower here. Good. And as our traders peddled their wares across the land, so too did our usage of gill become common practice. Good. Thank you. From what your stola tells me, a standard coin from the source equates to exactly one gill here, or near enough not to matter. Mm. Our I way see. of life has benefited greatly from the artifacts we recovered from the tower, some hmm. of which may be familiar to you. Huh. What is the food? <gasps> Wait. <gasps> is that the items to get other outfits? Is that a phone? But I fear it would not be practical for us to provide everything to which you are accustomed. You shall need a means to access the commodities of your home world. I almost look like a phone, to be honest. A van kerm sin? Sim? Yes, I'm here! Of course I'm here! What amusements do you have for me today? Is this the fairy? Oh, it is. My dear Feo Ul, paragon of pixie kind. For you, I have the most vital task. I have a question. Since we're in the, in the prime, Tell me these fairies are... If I save the world, will they also come to the future? <laughs> this fine lady is a friend from a distant realm. Hello. And we have need of a means to ferry things back and forth from her home. Might you be able to assist us in this matter? beyond, didn't you? From beyond the rift? Y yes. How I don't see anything. How exciting. What a brave and reckless and marvellous thing you did. You've the heart of a pixie, you do. Mine Magnus Prime. Bride. After careful consideration, I have decided to grant you my assistance. 
Make a pact with me and the fun can begin. The scholar counts. But answer me this, traveler. Did your garments come with you when you crossed over? Your teeth? Your nails? Yeah. I think so. Or else I, I don't think I'd be able to show my teeth when I was like, <gasps> gasp. Anyway. I think everything is intact. Just as I thought. Then you've a good stout connection with your home through which all your belongings, great and small, may easily pass. From ah. this moment forth, I will be your Isne Fis and you my Sne Yak. Like the branch which sprouts from the sapling, our bond will flow unbroken from one to the other. Can't. Are you a fairy like the scholar job? Or are you another job? You have to be scholar. Fairy, after all, no offense. Raise your hand. Ah, I will raise it. Here you go. Oh. 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 All right. Tis done. What was that? We are bound now, dearest sapling. I am in Magnus Pride. Come, come then! Make your request! Tell me your desire! I wish to visit this world of yours! You are a bit in a rush right now. I would like to see my friends. That is my wish right now. Like, take me to see Yashta and the others. <laughs> Alphonaut. Ash three, Oranger. Ash the do Bankrit. I wanna see all of them. You know? I wanna see them. That's my wish. How about that? Mayhap her message to your friends in the source to inform them of your safe arrival. Yeah! Thank you! You feel Say you feel me. You you know how I feel. I want to see my friends. I miss them. Yeah, Tultra, please. She must be worry sick. Consider it done. As you heard, that was Feo Ul of the Pixies. Their kind possess an affinity for magic akin to that of arcane beings. They rarely show themselves in populated areas, but Feo is insatiably curious even by pixie standards, and seems to have taken a liking to the Crystarium. Right, we were going to organize a room for you, weren't we? Come along. Result your epic you feel. You now have a sex to deliver boogles, market boards, summoning bells, and while you eat first. Anew. Okay. I 
believe that covers all the particular concerns. I do miss them, my friends. I would like to see them. Thank you for answering my call, Jim. We are denied the comforting blanket of the night, but may peaceful dreams attend none of the less. You have a plushie. Does the hotel have plushies? Uh, it's just... It's nice to have a bit of a company than me of being all alone. Wait, I have my carbuncle. Never mind. It's gonna be fine. And my pump. So I can pet them while I'm going to sleep. I think I'll manage. Thank you! Pleasure to meet you, miss. Welcome to our new home at the Pendants. Your room is ready. If you care to retire, yes, please. I would like it so. Very much so. Oof. Oh boy. Some of the things are familiar, some are different, for sure. Totoro is okay, man. And my friends. Oh, I can see the view. Ooh, nice. Wait, does it affect by the light? I must. Hey! I know who you are! Hey! <gasps> it's you! Come here, man! I know you. You're the warrior of light from the source. And I know you! Hey! What? Did you just... You can hear me? Yeah! I can oh, hear you! Gods, how long has it been? It's been too long! I... I... That was what I called myself in your world. The Warrior of Darkness. Yeah, I remember you! My real name is Ardbert. I used an alias in the source. A daft one, looking back. <laughs> it's alright, dude. If you recall my tale, it was my comrades and I who caused the flood. But what happened? We thought our home doomed. And so we listened to the Asians. Let them guide us to the source. And try to hasten their God's damned ardor. Wait. I remember when we fell. Defeated by you and yours. I remember our audience with Minfilia. There is her she name. listened to our pleas and returned our souls to the first. Yeah. Then what happened? The flood was poised to swallow Norvrand. Minfilia and my friends, they... They surrendered what little they had left to hold it back. Just faded away. Leaving me to bear witness. That really sucks. Tell me, do you know the year? How much time has passed since we caused the flood? Ooh, I think they said a hundred years, right? A hundred oh. years? hundred long years. So you're just here? Like a little light? Is there no way to clean that axe? <laughs> uh... My hands find no purchase. My gestures catch no eye, and my pleas, be they whispered or screamed, reach not a single ear. But I hear you. I can see you. You're not alone, man. I am a shade. 
cursed to do naught but drift. That really sucks what you're going through. You want me to make a toast for you, man? Just to help you out a bit. I don't know if I feel that as if helps. I've been walking forever. I hardly noticed when my mind and body began to fray at the edges. Ow. Then bang! My senses were sharp again. I felt like a fish being reeled in, and before I knew it, I found myself in this room. Oh. So... You don't know where you're going. You have no control. Why is it that you can see me? What are you even doing here, come to that? I was called by Extract. He called my friends first. He was trying to call me this whole time. Because he said if I help this part of the world you the first... You were summoned to save the first. Yeah, I was. A waste of time. This world is beyond saving. Like those who try to save it. Look, my friends didn't give up. If I if they didn't give up, I am not going to give up either. All right? If I make it, if you if you able to see it, me and my friends making to save the first. I don't want your efforts go to waste. Not even in the failure. Let us give us a try, since we are now here, okay? Aldebert, is that all right? Let us try. Muddled as my mind may be, I've not forgotten that. <laughs> let us try, man. I get it what you feel, but let me try. But if fate has brought me to you, the one person in this God's forsaken world who can see and hear me, then perhaps there is a reason I endured. If I can find out why I was left behind, then maybe... Maybe I can bring this journey of mine to an end. Yeah. Wait, don't go. Well, I'll be watching, Warrior of Light. Don't you want... But do me some... a favor. Be careful out there. This world has had its fill of heroes. All right. I will take it that that tip for a good information. Wow, we were in the first. Uh, I'm not gonna use that blanket. I would use that blanket, but I wouldn't be in full clothes too. <clears throat> not in that armor. Uh, am I well rested? Maybe. If you're not the Red Foss, are you his familiar? A uh, family member, descendant, that kind of thing? Ah, how did you find your new quarters? I trust you were able to rest? Uh, kinda. Uh, I saw a shadow of the... Aldebart. I, I would say both of them, it's like, well, thank you, and I had a ghost visitor. 
I shall tell about the ghost visitor. I don't want to leave him in the dark. I was not aware the room was haunted, and you were rather tired. Well, should you receive another visitation, be sure to let me know. Now, let us return to the subject of the Scion's whereabouts. Uh, but you would say more than that! Why? There's no reason to hide it! Never mind. Where are my friends? What? This map shows the lands of Norfrand, the only area to be spared the Flood of Light. So, this is the place? This one, with the blue crystal, right? That looks hollow bastion. That one looks like the dragon place. And that looks like the tournament of the desert. Alright, carry on. Why are you showing The Crystarium is here, one? in the region known as Lakeland. Okay, I was correct on that one. Yes. What about the other ones? To the north is the fairy kingdom of Il Meg. That is where you'll find Orianger. Okay, thank you. And the others? To the east lies the once prosperous civilization of Rak Tika. Your Stola is stationed there, in the heart of the forest. You see why she's there. Alas, neither location can be reached without considerable difficulty. Okay. As such, I would suggest you first seek out one of the twins, each of whom is stationed but a short flight from the Crystarium. Where are they? Alphina is on Calusa, an island off the western shore. It is home to a city called Yulmore, where the rich and privileged while away their days in idleness. For his part in furthering our cause, Alphino journeyed there to meet with the citizenry and forge alliances. From what I hear, he has since kept himself busy gathering information around the main settlement. Okay. What about that? Alize, meanwhile, traveled south to the arid wastes of Armoreng. So she's in the desert. They lie upon the very edge of the inhabitable world, where the flood of light was halted. Those who dwell there live in constant fear of attack by the Sin Eaters. Well, that's that, that's a sure place that she's like full of excitement and action, but it's like. You know, In contrast to her brother, danger. Alize felt that her energies would better be spent learning about the enemy, and thus she sells her services as a guard, both to hone her skills and gather information on our foe. Right. Perfect place. Well, thank you for so, the place. So, will it be Calicia or Armoreng? It matters not which you choose to visit first. Simply inform me once you've made your decision, and I will see to it that you are provided with a suitable mount. <sighs> ah, but you must be wondering about Thancred. He has taken up with a new companion, and is okay. presently engaged as a wandering hunter of Sin Eaters. Okay. So I'll meet him in the way, is that what you're saying? Being ever on the move, his whereabouts are often difficult to ascertain, but I am certain your paths will cross ere long. Okay. I think I had the perfect getup. <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know. was more worried uh, that she would lose everyone. I think she would be glad to see me first. Well, off or not, I think he, he would be fine. He would be happy to see me, but it's not the, like Ellie is. I know she's very strong. And she probably will hit me on the head. Why didn't I come to tell her sooner? Probably. 
Alright, I'll see her first. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm only hope my part of sending you to her gather me some measure of forgiveness. Here, this is a letter of introduction addressed to a man called Cassard, the master of a merchant caravan. Okay. There are few known ways of the desert as well he, as he does. Find him at the Amaro lunch and he will see you that you will reach your destination. I can put both. Assuming you have everything you need. Yes, I have everything I need. Just all set off to the for unforgiving sense we go. The nation of Nabath, Areng, once rose. When I journeyed here, long ago, I spoke with a sun-weathered elder. He told me Armoreng meant majestic land in the language of his people. And so it might still be. Were it not for the light's unrelenting onslaught. All right, where is she? Oh, no matter how many times I come here, the heat never fails to catch me off guard. Don't be surprised when the temperature drops at night. Though the sky is still bright, of course, but it's still brisk enough to make you shiver. Now, each short letter says I was to take you in the Eid Journey's head, which where this Ali's friend of yours is staying. But that's a fair old distance. So, I proposed we make a stop to Mord Sok Sok to break up the Turk. Allow me to attend some business, you to enjoy a local hostility. Sounds good? Good! Okay, thank you. Right, head to the southwest, straight as ever. Okay. 
Here a moment, this is your first visit to Ama Arag, is it not? Before you uh, cross the river sand around, feast your eyes on that. Okay, wait, I forgot something. Is there a crystal deer? No, there's no crystal deer. Oh, it's, it's right ahead. What, what? Oh. It looks familiar, though. They built them big, didn't they? That's Kalsu Zanar, Shanar, a fortress meant to protect the northern reaches of Nabang Arik. Arik? Yeah. Seeing what it was left behind, I believe it when they say that it was once one of Moveradon's mightiest nations. At least until the flood came along. Great chunks of Ma Nabadon's Arang's lands were lost to the light, its great city included. The few who survived didn't see much point in staying, most of them anyway. No, not many choose to come here these days, not with everything in ruins, even that honking great fortress has become a little more than a amarado roast for me in my caravan. But not everywhere is desert as this place. Just wait until you see Mord Scott. Okay. Press on, shall we? Okay. change the this place we might have better chances what's going on in our in our time maybe I'm not sure but it's it they said it was all connected might as well but here we are what's called uh, by the blessed shadow I love this town ah. Since the uh, okay, Mord's cob is just a uh, not just full of Mord, but hues in all matter of others too. It has been uh, long. It ha has long been a refuge for folk displaced by the flood. So the population is nothing, if not diverse. Okay, have you met? More a mord before they might look like uh, shifty little blighters, but a more welcome a lot you could never wish to meet. Okay. Speaking of which, we should pay our respects to Master Gan Gan. Okay. I'll go ahead and let him know we have arrived. Stayed here. I see. I see. I see why she stayed here. Oh, oh. Yeah, I know why. That's kind of cute. <laughs> oh. Uh, 
let me get this crystal first. They don't have a mask. They usually have a mask. I don't usually see their teeth. Hey, buddy. Master Gengen, this is the friend of the Exarch I was telling you about. Very good, very good. Though friend or no, all are welcome in Mordsk. Souk is Mordish for city. As things stand, this Souk boasts the largest and busiest marketplace in all Armoreng. Souk means city. I see. You'll find ore from the mines here, of course, but all manner of other things, too. Many of them rare. Mm. As I told you before, not many visit Armoring by choice, but Maud Souk's a different story. Merchants come from miles around to purchase the relics the Maud Digger. Like the little things in Star Wars, right? <laughs> Aye, that they do. For Maud do not dismiss the spoils of the earth. We clean them and polish them and reveal to the world their true value. So you're actually architects, you don't go like <laughs> That is why they come here, come from far away, come with much money. Or are you like uh, the owl, the owl lady from the owl house? <laughs> <laughs> and so Asuk is always busy, busy, busy. No such thing as a thing no one needs. You say that every time, Master Gengen. Uh, some sort of family motto, wasn't it? Sorry, that made me more laugh than I thought. Yeah. Or perhaps a Maud philosophy, for which we should all be very grateful. Would that everyone was so willing to take in refugees, regardless of race or creed. Hmm. Indeed. Now then, if you intend to spend any time here, you'll want to gain the trust of the locals. And there's a little custom all newcomers are expected to observe. Okay. The cracking of the coin purse. You buy one thing from the market. Price can be low or high, just as long as you buy. I thought for a second that it was my alarm, but it was the sound of the game. As the good Maud says, in fact, the Exarch sent a little something to cover this very expense. Oh, really? A verbert gold piece, no less. The first I've held in years. Ah. Verbert gold? Real verbert gold? Uh-oh. You shouldn't have said it loud that loud. Here, newcomer, crack your coin pass with me. Oh no, you want Michael to do cover? I have jars and pots all smooth and shiny. Over here! Come and look! Uh -oh. You buy your way? Uh, I just got him. Enough of that! Calm, I say! This one must still journey through the barrens. Nothing bulky, nothing heavy, no pots. Nothing better for the road than a full belly. Spend that piece at Ron Ron's place, yes? Eat for three before you leave. Okay. I don't know if free for free is a lot of meal or little meal. <laughs> or they have a good ear, like saying he was saying, hey, here's the gold the coin. And they heard like in a high distance, like, coin? You said coin? I heard it! You whispered! I heard it! Ah, 
I heard in a sunny whispering praise, so I must get it! Welcome to Rom Roms, Traveler! Traveler, I have yours to empty your perch and fill your belly! Take your time, stare and sniff before you choose, but no drooling out the merchandise. Yes, you purchase wrong swears. You may move the camera and zoom in with the stuff to inspect with it. Ah, I see. Mm. Ah, eh. Uh. Uh, yeah? That's my ever-burning bounty, made with the best parts of the lizard, cured with special spicy spice. Some find the spell challenging, but it will warm you up on the chilly desert nights. Um, what is this? Those worms over there. I call Bushloof the middle is stuff with the bittersweet cultist fruits. So even if the bread dries out, it's still moist inside. Keeps you going with the heat. I see why they're all fit. Do you have any drinks? Is there any drinks? Nope. Water, like normal water. Everyone's favorite! Plump, white worms, slathered in honey. Once you eat glass winger, you will never want to have, you never want any other treats. I see. Uh, uh, what about this exquisite meal? Oh, you will like those chewing squeers. You find small frogs hiding under the rocks, spear them with a stick, then roast over fire. Cranky on the in outside, gooey on the inside, perfect for stacking. Ah, uh, thank you. They all look appetizing. I was a strange eater since I was young. They all look tasty, yes? Which to choose? Which to choose? I will have the meat. Uh, also, wait, where's the... Mushloof? Yeah. Mushloof. I would like to have Mushloof. A very wise wound winter on the deserts with got full of cactus fruit filling. You have the goat. Yeah, here you go. Oh, done! One fist of boo! But the tight honor buys you a 40 loaves of bread. That's a lot! I thought I. Seems that I was not very happy to, to, to grab them. Every last mouthful. I think I'll share the rest. <laughs> Obviously, if I just do a feast, let us give the things for a great generosity and small appetite. Yay. Consider the coin punches cracked. I am pleased to accept your custom, and Gwingen is pleased that you honor ours. Whoa. That was a lot. Keeping the merchandise down, yes? No returns! Thank you. Oof. Did she have the same experience, I wonder? I wonder if she's going to tell me the tales when she got here. I 
was watching for here, Harbinger. You honor our custom and with great relish. You'll always be welcome to Mor Mort's Cop. If you need anything in all our rank, you are, we are here to provide. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> you have the courage, my friend. Rom Bronze wares are more exotic than harmful. But I don't envy you the belly ache you have on the morrow. Right, now that you have eaten, I expect you are eager to get back on the road. Would you mind if we delayed our departure a touch? I have a few deals left to close before I can conclude my business here in Morkscop. Sure. I will look around. Oh, offering our service, are you? Aye. Well, a system would certainly help hurry things along. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have a receipt here for all some goods that uh, need pick up from the market. All properly paid for. You just need to do the lifting and carry. Thank you. Now we'll do this just that. I'll go and take care of some last minute haggling. Then, I'll see you in a bit! Okay, key menus. Key menus. What is this? Oh, thank you. Another. Fine. Kafa's uh, Protor work, you have come to the wrong place. He's. Oh. I bet. Oh, wait. Key items, wasn't it? Key items. Where is the key items? Just... Oh, there you go. Ah! Where is that? It is. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, I would like that. Have that, please. Cutsard sent you, did he? Yes. What kind of oh was it again? Uh, I think it was tin ore. We have here, yeah, it's all yours, thank you. So, there was another thing in Table Catus, the same person. Uh, where's the Table Catus? Table Catus, Table Catus. Are you sure it's the same name? With the L, right? Okay. And who's the other one? Moon, moon. No, that's Min Min. Where's Moon Moon?
this is not what I was looking for. Uh, hold on. Was it in Bumo? Aber Arang at Fatigues. For you can possibly change my mind with a better offer. But I heard Kassab sent you? What? Why did you say so? I wouldn't dream of selling his goods in higher bidder. No, oh no, no, no. Nabahang arrogant relics, was it? Uh, all packed in bots, handle with care. Okay, I didn't, okay, I didn't need to. No, okay. Now it's missing someone with tool. Where's his name? I don't know. Where is Yes, good, good. I can finally stop thinking about that sack. Please take it particularly purchase. Thank you. Okay. Good work. And quick work too, consider you have not set a foot in the place before. I thought you, uh, you want to sit in the city like air shot. But something tells you you're not a stranger to visit strange lands. I'm used to it actually. Unfortunately, you're efficient to present something of a problem. I will help you conclude all my business before you return. But it seems it's been some confusion over one of the others I placed. I'll have to drag my middleman to sort this best. I'm sorry to make you sit around and rule our f your thumbs. Kassad, it seems like an age I last saw you. Is that... No. Well, if it isn't the lovely Tasleen. It has been a while, but your timing couldn't be better. This young lady was on her way to meet Al Lazine, I suppose, to be taken into your corner of the desert, but Miss Blaze Order has commanded my attention. Wait, I know who you are. Alice has told you much about you. 
You're a ninja, aren't you? Yes. I knew it! How wonderful to be you in the flesh after hearing all those stories. I'm Tuzlin. I work uh, as a Karen at the end. I've got to know Alizine quite well since she took up guard duties here. There. Do you want me to take over a Harbinger's guy, Cassard? My shop needs all done and packed for the road, if it will be no trouble. That would be a great help, thank you. Well, it looks like you were able to head straight, head straight out after all. My caravan and I will be in the area for a while yet. Seek out when you have had your fill of Amang Arang. I'll send you back to Christeria. Okay, thank you. I'm pretty sure I had this outfit, but the, again, uh... They had a bit of an upgrade compared to my old one, so I had no choice. Anyway. May you take me? Alazin has been desperate to see you, Habinger. So let's get to her soonest rather than later. The inn isn't too far to find, really. You can actually see the top of the rock uh, spires from here. You mean that one? That's the only one I can see. It's not that big one, is it? It's not the only one outside. I see another one. Can't see another one. You just need to swing around the ridge and head south. Okay, head south. Uh, come on, I'll get my supplies together and I'll meet you outside. That little guitar doesn't matter if mission accomplished. It sounds so. Ooh, that's a rat cactus. All set. I should probably mention wildfire. But well, most will leave you if you keep your distance. The local I coyotes have learned to prey on folk handing home from their markets. I can usually swing a sword well enough to fend them off, but I may have loaded myself with the too many bargains today. What a coincidence. You think you can handle any beast and try to make a meal for us? Sure. As I thought you might. Alice was always saying how much uh, you. I mean. Uh, shall we get going? Shall we? Sure. That was wasn't much trouble to shout the warning. Were you bitten? Those things can be nasty. Yet hardly match for you, it seems. I always thought that Aloise was strong, but in her mind she was never now it makes sense. Ahem. Well should we push on? It might be best if you scout ahead and clear out any coyotes that might have our scent. Wait here so you can I'll wait here so you can fight any fight without any distractions. Okay. Uh... Oh. oh I'm riding him Look at that. Oh, this is a good ride.
safe, man. Get this here back. I could hear the howling and snarling from here. Frightening creatures. Let's hope the rest have have seen your handiwork now to avoid us now. I need to get these supplies back to the inn. Pardon. That's a far far away. This is the inn? This is it. Thanks to you, I didn't have to drop any, uh, my shopping even once. Come to think of it, I'm glad I didn't make the trip alone. You, it seems you end up escorting me. I now have to repay the favor somehow. But first, let's head inside, shall we? Alright. journey's head. You might be our first visitor from the construction since Ali's arrived. It's not much, but it's home for the anticipated and handful of car careers. The inflicted? You don't know? No. I don't think I ever met anyone besides Elise who was so unfamiliar with the situation here. Most folk who grew up knowing every someone who knew someone. Sorry. I might leave out something ob obvious, so it might be best to have Elise to give you the full explanation. Sure. I think she might be off the patrol. You could wait, I suppose, but why not go surprise her? She usually takes a look at things from the watchtower first, and you might be able to catch her there. It's that far. Head to the south side. Okay, south side. And you'll see it's 
soon see it. I'll stay behind in case she comes back while you're gone. be seen, but you spot fresh fruit prints on the ground. They look like about the right size. I think she fought something just now. Oh. Uh oh. That's big lights. Senator, nothing to write home about. I still congratulate you. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later, but I had been hoping for sooner. Well, sorry for if I got late, so what? Yeah, I did reply in the moment I looked. Don't worry. It was he was talking about the first series in Crystalium, so I did talk about it. I was still memorizing about the whole place too. <laughs> uh, I I wanted to ask you. Uh, in in every part the uh, ahead and this one, which city did you like the best?
it's hard to to say which one was your favorite because you like all of them. Okay. Also, I saw the outfit that taught to remain me. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. I am what I am. <laughs> <laughs> Fearless uh, outfit. I wanted to wear it, but uh, I was wearing an outfit until the, this upgrade happened. I had to wear it, unfortunately. Hey, but you're the first one I see. Good, you chose first. I knew Alpha and Alpha would be fine, but she wouldn't. She was like, "Why did you visit me first? <laughs> I'm good. You? We fought them to a standstill then. Hmm. And? The Exarch did say that the Empire seemed to have drawn back when he last looked in on the source. But without knowing for sure how fast time was passing there, I couldn't help worrying that a lot might have happened since then. Well... Not much, but still a bit concerning. I'm heartily too. relieved to hear that it hasn't. Just as Alphano must have been. As you can imagine, both he and Arianger were desperate to hear the news from home when I arrived. Oh. I haven't actually seen Thancred and Yishtola yet, but they will have heard all the latest developments from the Exarch by now, or should have at least. Hmm. You look good. When I think of how frantic Tataru and the others must be, I want nothing more than to rush back and reassure them. Yeah, but we still haven't found a way to reverse the summoning. And even if we had, we couldn't just ignore Urielje's vision. Yeah, I understand. He may use ten words where one would suffice, and they may often obscure as much as they reveal. Hmm. But on this matter, he was as clear as day. I do not doubt for one moment that he saw what he claims. I don't doubt either. Nor how difficult it must have been to speak about them. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and your death aren't exactly topics for idle conversation. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I do get it, that. As much as I might want to go home, I don't want to go home to that. We can't allow the rejoining to happen, which means we have to save the first from the Sin Eaters. Yeah. We're the Soul Eaters. <laughs> that great wall of white is a remnant of the Flood. Really? Oh, so it's like the image that I saw in the fairy tale. This is how she stopped. Wait, this is all oh, the light? This is the light f flood? Whoa. A hundred years ago, the balance in the first tipped decisively in favor of light. From that moment, it rose and swelled with each passing day, and then without warning, it burst forth like water from a broken dam. A colossal wave of pure light, drowning everything in its wake. Only Norvrant was spared. For the most part, living things are composed of ether of various different aspects. But when exposed to such a flood, their etheric harmony is shattered, and their natural form breaks down. Then they either perish, or are warped into mindless abominations. So I heard from the Book of Fairy Tale. Yes, that's how the Sin Eaters came to be. They were once living creatures, or people, that were caught in the path of the Flood. Ah. Once the change is wrought, there is no going back. In that instant, they are gripped by an insatiable appetite for ether, and will happily gorge themselves on any living thing within reach. 
but even that is not the worst of it. The stronger sin eaters can plant light in us, like seeds in soil, corrupting uh. our ether and triggering the birth of new monstrosities. So like zombies. They are creatures of base instinct that exist only to feed and to multiply. They feel no mm. pity, know no remorse, and are utterly deaf to reason, which is why they must be destroyed. Every last one of them. How did you know about the The infirmary is full of the Sin Eater's victims, left here to spend their final hours waiting for the change to overtake them. going to look at this infirmary that you spoke of just a matter of time some or uh, more for some last for others those patrons all become monsters in the end and to end insulting the injured the inflicted are feared shun cast out of society they exile here to the edge of the world the only good thing I have to say about this hellish place is that it has served me well as a training ground. Teslin and the others have been so kind enough to share their knowledge of the sea natives, which I acknowledge I can share now. I can now share with you while you help me finish my patrol, of course. Sure. Here's what we'll do. We'll take each side of the end. You clear west. That way we can have indulted experience of the resident travers terrors. These marks on the map are where the usual turbo spots are. You can assume any beast with a white hide or carapace is a sea eater, but you'll know for sure enough if, when they come slavering after your ether remember it's kill or to be killed like again like... Is that enough? not even part of a guild they really are close for me to see all the conversation anyway what's Slave, whatever prowling around out there, we can read the view back to North Dentis. Good hunting. Okay. Really like electric guitar, man.
for this area. I expect you notice it yourself, but individually these lesser sin eaters are no more than deadly than any natural predator you might encounter in the desert. It's when they appear in numbers that they pose a threat, much like the void scent. Mm. They have unfortunate tendency to flock to the strongest of their kind. Thus, when a powerful sin eater goes on the hunt, it might be attended by the veritable swarm of weaker kin. Imagine an army of such creatures descending on a village or a helmet. Hamlet. Hamlet? That's the basic idea behind my patrols. To call their ranks often enough that their numbers won't be overwhelming. When big ones come out to play, you have certainly help on that front. Let's report our victories to Tuslin, shall we? Okay. Elise tells me you help out on her patrol. You have our you, you have your things. My apologies for leading you from one battle to another ever since the moment we've met. In any case, I'm glad to see the two of you found each other. You have no idea how badly Alice missed your company. Everything is always, if Harbinger were here, she would. That's an exaggeration. I wouldn't sound like that either. I was simply trying to view matters from another perspective. I respect Harbinger's methods. <laughs> Honestly, after seeing her in action, I can understand why. The way she leaps into the fray without hesitation, it really is something to behold. I might be a little spitten myself. <laughs> I only tease him, though I have no doubt she deserves all the admiration she gets, just as you do. Oh. Oh, I love her. I love to lay out a welcome meal, but the duties I put off when I went to the market are still waiting for me. Uh, uh, there are 101 things I need doing. I'm sorry, but would you mind waiting here for, with Elise? What? Twinkle of thumbs while we, you walk yourself to death. Surely there's something we can help you with. could do with the hand, it's true, thank you. You can start by helping me short out the ladder, Elise. While we do that, you could attend a few patients, perhaps? There are three in particular I meant to visit. It's a matter of a few words to them, seeing that their skin isn't caked in the sand. Their names is Pan Neil Toden and ha Halric. They may not give much in the way of response, but I promise you they'll be pleased to meet someone new. I'm terrified. It's like, <gasps> I don't know you! Who are you? Let get out of my house! <clears throat> there you go, you want a massage, right? <laughs> Thank you. I go away. So massage. Tolden glasses see blankly, but notices the tension in his face is slightly. Okay. Massage. Remains so truly still as you wipe the sand of his cheek. The texture of the skin has hardened into something akin to plaster. Okay. 
okay. Have you seen the patients? How were they? Well, one it was full of sand, but I cleaned it up. The other one uh, appreciated my massage, and the other one said thank you. That's good. I knew they would enjoy meeting you. I am concerned about Herrick, though. Yeah. I'll have to speak with the other carers, but I think his time may be near. We shall uh, leave you have that discussion then. I was going to take Harbinger to North Squad. If you have any errands there I need doing? I suppose there's one thing. Would you pick a nectarine from the market, please? Casts our caravan just passed through, so Ron Ron should have some fresh fruit. Come then, Harbinger, there's something I want you to see. Right after we stop to Ron Ron's stall, of course. Shit, but I have uh, I have to wake up early tomorrow as well. Oh, back again, are you? Need another taste of Ron Ron's wares? Actually, we were looking to buy nectarine. Do you have any in stock? Oh yes, nectarine, peaches, grapes, great, fresh and juicy. Given how rich and cracking your coin perch with me, might still own new food. Here, take this one, free of charge. Thank you. Why? Yes, I'll take a jar of homely worms as well. Why the the thing is doing the thing when I don't want him? Oh no, they're not for me. It's offering of sorts. Ahem, the worms, if you please. Only the best wingers for you. Come again, my friends. Right. That's our shopping chores taken care of. Let's head up the pass to Afarine to the main tower. The view I might uh, want to show you only can be seen from its very top. Sure. Which tower? That tower? This tower? Thinking I'm going to bed. It's like the hours, man. <clears throat> you precious one just buy us a trip from the top tower, does it not? Guess, guess, Lee, wake us. You actually bought them. I really sh shouldn't let you, but just this once, all right? Only once. Never fails. Shall we? Someone does resist those streets. He did. I am busy. I'm having a Look, moment. Over there, where the wall is broken. What? Oh, it is. Do you what see broke? what lies beyond? Uh, snow. Apparently. That's what the land became after the light flooded in. An empty white nothingness. Life cannot exist in such conditions. The primordial light would wreak havoc on the body's etheric balance. Hmm. That nectar in you bought. It's Halric's favorite fruit. Ah. Most of the patients, 
Alric included, survived the attacks of powerful eaters. But their fate was sealed all the same. The monster's corruption has entered their bodies, and their very essence is being subsumed by light. The twisted state of the world itself just makes matters worse. Under normal circumstances, a person's ether naturally tends to equilibrium. But for these poor souls, the opposite is true. Sooner or later, every single one of them will turn. Oh. This is not looking as bright as it should. <laughs> Tesline and the eh. patients, they all know this. They know what has to be done before the change goes too far, before the eater within takes over. We have to take its life then, before that happens? The preferred method is mixing poison into their favorite food. In my time here, I've borne witness to a lot of last meals. Ah, I see. I feel just as helpless as before. No matter how hard I fight, it's never enough. I feel you. But it's a war I mean to wage, nonetheless. Speaking of wars, do you remember how I made you promise not to leave me and then promptly collapsed? Yeah, I do. That's why I visit you first. Well, let's just say I had a few choice words for the Exarch concerning the timing of his summons. <laughs> I, think, I think you said you punch is like, what the hell were you thinking? Why did you do that? But even if the fault lay with someone else, I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd abandon you on the battlefield. No, I blamed the guy who <laughs> actually summoned you when that so happened. So I swore that I'd make up for my absence there by making a difference here. Mm, yeah. And that's what keeps me moving forward, even when things seem hopeless. That's good. I'm still holding out this, apparently. On which note, it's time we headed back. The longer we keep Tesslin waiting, the harder this will be for her. Okay. I was glad I was able to show that when it comes to understanding of the catastrophe which beheld, befell the first, one glimpse of the empty wasteland beyond the wall is worth more than an hour oranges lecturing. I need you to know beyond doubt that Teslin has no other choice. Nectarine will be a kindness. It isn't just a threat posed to others. When the person becomes an eater, the plane appears to be excruciating. The carriers are truly found of their wounds, who spared that suffering, is their way fighting back against the fate worse than death. Yeah, I get it. That's a very understandable thing to do. It sucks, but very understandable. I think they would even, it's like if they were alive and they were having this kind of state, I don't think they will ever want to hurt others just because they prefer to end it before they hurt others from the whole condition. Go ahead, she's been waiting for, I think she's been waiting for us. Get back, I hope you have a nice time. Did you manage to find the nectar ring? Yes, here you go. Please explain why I wanted this Hashi. I can see in your eyes. But you may not need it just yet. I spoke with the others. We decided to keep an eye on Alric right now. Mm. You sure? Thanks to you, though. If the time does come suddenly, we'll be ready to send him on his way with a taste of happier days. Okay. Okay. 
it's nothing's going to happen for a little while now. Let's see if we can lighten the mood. I don't want our gloomy faces to worry our patients. I think it's time to welcome a meal. Uh, that welcome meal. Take a seat. I'll uh, I'll make you a nice dinner. Okay. Hey, quest accepted. Speak up if you'd like another helping. I made a little bit more than usual today. Mm -hmm. And you've added something special to the broth, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Aye, well, it's not often we have visitors from the Crystarium, so I may have thrown in a few extra bits and bobs. Mm -hmm. Then I'll have another bowl then! That's what I like to hear. Give me a moment to warm up the pot. In a place like this, you learn to take what moments of happiness you can get. Yeah, I know. I remember when I first came here with my mother. She was showing the early signs. I knew there was no way to save her, but I just couldn't face what needed to be done. That's the way of it for most people. Why they travel for moms to stay here. Beaten, broken souls come to wait out the inevitable, to receive the mercy of a painless death. When my mother finally left this world, I was mad with grief, but also thankful that her passing was a peaceful one. Yeah, I get it. I'm staring that peach like, yes, it is a selfie. It's never easy, ending a life you've cared for, even when you believe they go on to a better place. Yeah. I get it. I often find myself wishing the warrior of darkness would come and do that part for me. Oof. The warrior of darkness? You've never heard the tale. I'm not sure where it began, but every child in Norvrand could tell you a version of it. Oh, Elise, I have to tell you about the shadow that I saw in my room. Warrior of darkness, servant of death, take care of our souls at our dying breath. Let sinners and eaters of sin go with thee, that all may return to the sunless sea. Well, that's the version I was taught anyway. It's just an old bedtime story. He certainly never deigned to visit us here. Ah, uh, You sure? Which is a good thing, surely. He sounds rather ominous. You've met him before, I think. Do you think so? I always liked the idea that he treated every soul the same. Even the Sin Eaters. Yeah. He probably does. Uh-oh. What? They're coming. Desleen! Have you seen Halric? I swear, I only took my eyes off him for a moment. Oh no. Yep. Ah, uh, this is no good. Is we have to go and look for Halric. I don't know what's got into him, but if he's wandering out there alone, I'll sign to search Alice and split out any idea who might be headed. 
He's never done anything like this before, but it can't be a coincidence that the other patients are suddenly so agitated. I can sense something. In any case, let's keep the search close to the end. Alrek isn't sure he isn't very sure on his feet. He wouldn't have gone far. So I'll search the east side. Please, Herrick, be all right. Uh, uh. I'll cover northern west, then yeah, everything from here to the south. Okay, thank you. Bye. I'll see you there. Uh, south, south, south. This is not good. I fear the worst. The worst is coming. Alright, alright. I'm busy, bud! I have to go to bed. I'm gonna save the little kid. Oh, come on, bug. You're gonna leave me alone, surely? No, of course not! Leave me, bud! You have tasted the freaking Bahamut breath! Where were we? so much. Any sign of him? No. No luck then. But he surely can't have gone far. We should keep looking. The Sin Eaters are out in force and if we don't find him soon, you can be sure they will. That's a strong one, isn't it? The soul leader, Did you see right? the size of that thing? It must be one of the nasty ones. Wherever it's going, it can only mean trouble. After it! All right. Oh, I don't need to walk. Uh-oh. 
No. Tesla! No! Why did you do that? Uh, this is not a great start. We all deserve happiness. Wherever we can find it. The time left to you is precious. No one should die in pain. Mother, mother, I... See how they turn into soul eaters, huh? He recovered his wing pretty fast, didn't it? Ooh. Hey! So, I... I'm sorry, Helen I tried to tell the carriers what happened, but... I can't be shouldered they lean on. Not like this. I'll tell them. This isn't good. It's just so unfair. Tazlin was always so cheerful with the patients, telling them not to be scared and that there won't be any pain. All the peoples in the world to suffer such a fate. Yeah, indeed. I imagine you are just as talk as the rest of us, so I appreciate what you're doing here. Me, I can barely have the words. Without a body, I can't even give her a proper barrel. She care about the sort of thing, about giving the people the chance to say their goodbyes. Eric is as irresponsible as ever. He stands motionless, staring up into the sky where the Sin Eaters made their escape. <sighs> I've spoken with the other carers. Thank you. What you're doing means a lot to them. To me. 
canoe. Sorry to interrupt, we, uh, we realize we hadn't thank you for rescuing Helmrich. You haven't hurt at all, have you? Hurt? That wasn't even a fight. I was too late, too slow, and I thought I could protect you. You can't blame yourself for things beyond your control. You brought Helmrich back in safe and sound. No one could have done any more. I think she did too. I'm sorry, but I've come to a decision. I won't be continuing my role here. I hope you will forgive me for leaving you. <sighs> but you will delay Halric's last meal for long as you possibly can. Until it's too late, of course. Just give him what the time you can. We always do. Of course. She would have done the same. Farewell, Herrick. Keep Tesson's words close to your heart. If he, for a miracle, survives all of this, I will be surprised. Wait, you're leaving us at this very moment? I understand what you feel. Surely this is a bit hasty. Must you even have anywhere to go? have a destination in mind. And, yes, and a purpose. This damn light, building without cease. It's the reason we can't save those corrupted by the eaters. If we corrected the balance, even if we were little by little, even if it took years, it'd surely make things better. Now, hold it here. Hold on there. Everybody knows there's too much light. But how could you ever hope to get rid of it? You will have to change the whole world. That's right. We should return to Castrum. I may not be able to repel the eaters on my own, but we can still use by the skills I have gained here to hurt them. what they were thinking man that guitar man always welcome to here right so I think this is a better time to stop the stream uh that was a wow I would say there were nice very creepy visions there for sure that she stood there a bit too long I, I wouldn't have like here hurry go, hurry oh well the enemy is right behind me that can quickly stab me uh, yeah I, I didn't think that was wise but still what am I to judge right the damage is done <clears throat> oh boy so yeah Thank you so much, my little adventures, for watching me in Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers! And I hope to see you all 